Hey guys, Mars Engine here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we have the new stage of Extreme Super Battle Road has released on Global. Stage 48 of ESBR, which is the Rapid Growth Stage. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with this team. You can see obviously here it's the previous clear. We did this run on the stream earlier today. So shout out to anyone that was uh, there to see this live. I did go for the double hit Universe 6 team. Uh, we've got Kale here. Um, funnily enough, the Tech Khalifla, none of the enemies in this stage are Pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga. And I know a lot of people, um, especially considering, you know, without an EZA, how she fares in difficult content nowadays, a lot of people do think she's only runnable against those enemies where she gets the 100% chance to dodge. But on a full Universe 6 team that has a lot of other Peppy Gauss allies, she has a very, very high chance to dodge anyway. And you will actually see that come in clutch uh, a little bit later on in the run. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let us go ahead and jump into the run. I hope you guys enjoy. So let me know at the end what team you guys used. And, uh, yeah, let's jump in. At least we have an int unit on the first rotation in case. Watch him stun this time. Oh, okay. Or just, you know, be attacking in slot. There's actually no attacks in slot one this time. All right, well, there we go. So this should be a decent start, because if Hit can just get the stun straight away. There you go. I mean, that's the thing, right? We essentially just, like, lock down the fight with this. So not getting the stun from his passive is uh, not ideal, but then there was no attacks in slot one, so... And of course, we have a few units on the team that lower attack. So, if we do miss a stun, then obviously he's uh, not going to do as much damage. Yeah, hit with a time skip domain, I think, would be very cool. Mm. I mean, obviously, he's. Uh Actually, is he stunned? He's not, is he? Because it's only for one turn with hit from his thing. But then, again, no attacks in slot 1, which is pretty funny. Even if he was attacking in slot 1, though, we have, um... With the amount of attack lowering that we've been gi we'd given him, as long as he didn't super straight away, we could have been fine for this rotation, but... I mean, the, the dangerous thing with this strategy is there will be some turns where, like, if we go into the fight and we just have a really awkward first rotation and then Hit doesn't get that stun from his passive, then there might be certain, uh, like, turn setups where it's just, like, instant death guaranteed. Yeah, Kale going off with her supers here. It's one of those stages that would be very, very easy with items, because especially with, like, double hit, you just, like, for the first two fights, you could just Ghost Usher turn one and then get the stuns with hit. Um, yeah, see, this is where it's awkward, because... Oh, he did. He actually stun everybody. He only stunned hit. Wait. Oh, no, they are both. I was going to say, you can't only stun one of them. Okay, so hit's passive did actually go off, which is really good, because then... If we go for the stun, keep the stun on you, potentially. And then we just get everyone else to attack you. Hey, Hit actually got his passive to go off. So it's very RNG related, but if you can do it with this uh, setup, then obviously it does make it considerably easier. Right, he didn't get the follow-up stun, but... Oh, there you go. That's actually, I think if he stuns from his normal attack, like from his passive, it's only for the turn, though. LR hit would definitely be a cool release. Just be it with items, even then they battered my team. This one's rough because of the category, yeah. Yeah, items definitely make Super Battle Road one of those events that's not really up there with the top tiers of difficulty anymore. But some of the ones with the awkward categories can still be kind of rough. Right, so 
Oh, we're getting so lucky here with some of these turns. Like, because obviously he's still stunned. Roshi's not, but Roshi's not attacking in slot one. So. So we'll stun Roshi potentially here with hit. And then try and finish off the Turtle Hermit. Or Crane Hermit even. Although... Yeah, no, I will attack. Even though Kale's type disadvantage here. Probably should still attack her. Yeah, the auto clicker. I need to make another one. Because um, a lot of people are saying that one that I made the original video on. They can't find it or it doesn't work anymore. Um, but I think it was Bringer Down sent me the link to another one from Android that he uses. So, like, does work. So I need to actually take a look at it. Like, figure out the setup. Make a video on that one. Because... Like I say, a lot of people, that video still gets views now, and every now and then I'll still get, like, a comment come up saying that, like, people haven't been able to find it or it doesn't work anymore. So, I do need to do one on the newer one, but... Uh, right. So, he's not stunned, but he has been attack lowered quite a bit. Is that will hit be okay here? As long as he doesn't super me, I guess we will. But oh, he is stunned. Well, never mind then. Yeah, is the original auto clicker is my most watched video. It has over two hundred k views, which is kind of crazy. Right. If we get the stun here with hit on the first turn, I think we pretty much have this locked down. If we don't, we could be in real trouble. <laughs> Alright, well, we did not. So, we basically have to just rely on um, Khalifla dodging in slot one, which is going to be rough. I'm not going to lie. It could very much just be GG here. Although, because Khalifla, like, everyone thinks about Tech Khalifla. It's like, oh, you only use her in these stages against pure Saiyans and stuff because she has a 100% chance to dodge. But on the full, like, Universe 6 and, like, Peppy Girls mixed team, she does have a really high dodge chance. Watch her not dodge this out of all the attacks. No, there you go. She dodged every single attack on the turn. So, that's pretty good. So if hit gets hit gets the stun on um I actually can't remember what her name is, the in woman in slot three. If hit gets the stun on her, then I think we're just GG here. Oh, he survived. He's got like no health. <laughs> Bruh. Come on. Come on, hit. Get that stun. Yes, there we go. And we get the double super, so he gets the extra attack as well. Nice. Alright, well. Also, see, you're, the only problem is if you're attacking in slot one, I guess the thing is just don't super and then we'll be fine. Because, yeah, they'll kill him. And then... I think that's... I think that's GG. Okay, well, he, if he'd supered, I think we would have been in trouble, right? Because 55k from a normal, that's uh, not great. But now he's dead, so... And then, yeah, she gets some extra attacks on her. Do they still attack lower on their 12 key super? No, but that's fine. Because then we got hit in slot three. Even if hit doesn't get the stun, hit lowers attack as well. But if hit gets the stun here, then it's uh, all she wrote. There we go. Right, well, there you go. That's uh, 
We got it on lock. Does Tech Khalifa's dodge chance in her passive count herself? Yeah, I think she does, right? That's a, what does her passive actually say? So it's chance to evade enemy attacks. 8% uh, per universe 6 or Peppy Gal's ally on the team. But I believe those do stack, right? So it's like 16% per Peppy Gal's universe 6 ally. Or no. Well, it is all. I'm not sure. But the full team is Universe 6, which means there are 7 Universe 6 characters, which means it would be 8% like times 7, which obviously is 56. So she has a 56%. But yeah, I think it stacks, right? Which means it's what? 16% on this team times 5, because everyone is a Peppy Gals character except the two hits. So it's 16% times 5, and then plus another 16%. If that does stack, then it means her dodge would be 96%. <laughs> Which is actually ridiculous. If it is actually, if it does actually work like that, then her dodge chance is 96% on this team. Which, it's probably why she dodged everything on that turn, right? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll let Kale get the, uh, we'll let Kale get the finish here. Since we did run hits team over her, we'll, we'll let Kale get the finish. Didn't quite get the Dokon attack, but yeah, it doesn't say self-excluded, so you'd assume it means with them as well, which I think that's the way those passives are usually done, right? So, but yeah, there you go. We did definitely get very lucky, like some of the hit passive stuns and everything kind of sealed the deal there for us, but but definitely that clutch turn from Tech Khalifa where she dodged absolutely everything. Like, I think she only really needed to get hit by one of those attacks. Um, especially the super. And it would have been game over. But, but yeah, there you go. So there's Rapid Growth, Extreme Super Battle Road done with no items. Of course, you know, we are here, the home of the Super Battle Road King. The only channel on YouTube where you can find a playlist of every single Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road stage beaten with no items and no app resets. Um, so yeah, let me know what team you guys use down below in the comment section. Whether you used items or not, let me know who you used and how it went for you. And uh, yeah, I guess we will be looking out now ready for the next one. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.